Hello Salimic, in today's video we're gonna be using Pristone cooling system cleaner and flush the system few times till it gets super clean and then add 50-50 premixed antifreeze. So before doing anything make sure the engine cold to touch because when the engine at idling temperature the cooling system will be around 90 degrees celsius and it will be pressurized. Looks like the engine been running on low coolant and losing coolant and I found out the leak right away. One of the radiator hose were leaking here. It's an easy fix if the hose not damaged, we just have to clean it and put it back. So we gonna need cooling system cleaner. I will be using Pristone's cooling system cleaner in this video and 5050 premixed antifreeze. I recommend to check your owner's menu to know how much coolant you will need before doing this job so you don't run out of coolant. So I'm gonna jack up the car and put it on a jack stand. That way I will have more room when draining the coolant. Alright, drain pan under the car. So we're gonna start with removing outlet hose of the radiator and the inlet hose of the radiator. You can use the drain plug but I prefer removing the hoses, it's much faster. So here is the inlet hose of the radiator and here is the outlet hose of the radiator. With a simple brushing and using sandpaper it went from this to this. Now we're gonna use a garden hose and let the water come out till you see the water is clean. And then we're gonna put the inlet and the outlet hose back. And now it's time for cooling system cleaner. A barrel of cleaner will treat up up to 3 gallons. So for small engines, one barrel is enough. So for light cleaning, run the engine for 10 minutes. And heavy duty cleaning, run the engine 3 to 6 hours. Next, we're gonna fill the rest with tap water. You can use distilled water as well. But since it's not staying that much, we are good to go. Alright, we are at the right level. Next, we're gonna start the engine. I'm gonna let it run for 2 hours. Okay, it's been after 15 minutes and the engine warming up. After you see all the bubble came out, we're gonna put the reservoir cap back on and we're gonna let it run for 2 hours. It's been after 2 hours, now we're gonna turn the engine off. Next, I will leave the engine cool down for a few hours, so we can drain the coolant. Alright, the engine cold to touch, now we're gonna drain the cleaner. And here is how much it cleaned and there is some still left in the reservoir. Next we are gonna flush the system with the same procedure till the water comes out clean and we will be sure that no cleaner left in the engine. After 3 cycles running the engine with tap water it finally cleaned the reservoir. Next I am gonna use compressed air to push all the remaining water out. It's not necessary but if you do it you will have more accurate coolant ratio without mixing with tap water. And finally, we're gonna put the inlet hose of the radiator and the outlet hose of the radiator back on the engine. Now we're gonna pour the 50-50 premixed antifreeze in the radiator reservoir. You don't have to use distilled water with this, it's premixed it and ready to use. Before starting this job on your car, make sure to check your owner's menu to know exactly how much antifreeze you will need. That way you will know one bottle cleaner will be enough or not. Here is the second gallon of antifreeze. I'm gonna fill it up till it reach max line on the reservoir. Now we're gonna start the engine and let it reach idling temperature with the cap open to let all the bubbles out. If the level went down, add some antifreeze till it stays on max line. When you see no bubbles comes out anymore, put the cap back on and here's how to bleed the cooling system. After running the engine for a while and the coolant level stayed on max level, we are good to go and the system is bubble free. Check out the before and after result how it cleaned the reservoir. The cleaner been circulating through the entire system and it will clean all not only the reservoir. But the reservoir is a clear indication that it worked and cleaned the system. So that's it for this video. Hope the video was helpful and learned something new. If it was like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.